Hey guys, Fila. In this video, we're going to talk about the number one big mistake that you're likely making if you're dealing with chronic constipation. First of all, please know that this is not your fault. If you're making this mistake, you likely have been told this by your doctors to do that. And all you did is you needed help, you reached out, and that was the solution you got. And that's why I'm here for you. We're going to talk about the number one mistake, what you need to stop doing if you're dealing with constipation right now. And then in the bonus content, in the end, I'm going to give you an alternative. What works better without side effects and actually gets you out of chronic constipation long term. What am I talking about? I'm talking about all those over-the-counter laxatives. Dolcolax, substance called lactulose, bisacodyl. What those medications do is they chemically induce a bowel movement. That's why they are constipation medicine. There are various types of laxatives and they all work in a little bit of a different way. Apart from this chemically inducing bowel movements, there are also lubricants which coat your stool and the inside of your colon with moisture. One of the most used is mineral oil. When you already hear this, I get like all these hairs standing up in the back of my of my neck, I'm like, oh, mineral oil. While all of these solutions work short term because they are hardcore, they come with a massive price. In the case of mineral oil, for example, it's, it clogs up your gut lining. It basically leads you straight into malabsorption because the healthy nutrients are not absorbed when you take mineral oil. Oil. Why are laxatives such a problem? Why I'm making a big fuss of it is because it gets into dependency and it messes up your electrolytes which are in your colon. Your, so for, in order for your colon to move the stool out of your large intestine, you need gut motility, right? And gut motility needs electrolytes. And these laxatives chemically induce the bowel movement, but if you're not taking them anymore, your gut is left sluggish and without movement and you have more constipation than you had in the beginning. Now you might think yeah, Peggy, great, but what am I doing instead, right? Tell me what should I do? If I need to have a bowel movement right now. In order to address this, you've got to change your diet. Surprise! And in just a moment, I'm going to give you the first thing that I would like you to start with if you want to deal and heal chronic constipation naturally and long term without being lifelong dependent on medication. If you're thinking, yeah, well, I don't lose over the counter laxatives, I just use this tea. Last week I had a client coming to me, Angela was her name, she's from the United States. She hasn't been using over-the-counter laxatives a lot, but she's been using all these teas, right? Boldo tea, Senna tea, and she thought she's doing a good thing for her gut because she has been chronically constipated for over 25 years. She's in her 50s right now, three children, lots of health issues. And the problem is with these teas, yes, they are natural, but they come with massive side effects. Diarrhea, stomach pain, again, addiction to all those teas that you then need in order for you to get a bowel movement. It just messes up your gut. So Boldo tea and Zena tea, they all go in the same category as the over-counter laxatives. The biggest problem with laxatives is that it, it's not addressing the root cause. Constipation is a symptom. It's an alarming symptom from the body that there's something happening that you need to address. And while there are many, many possible reasons why you have constipation, here are the three major ones. Chronic inflammation. When there's inflammation in your digestion, for whatever reason, everything becomes red, inflamed, swollen. This process takes up a lot of water. And that's why gut feeders like Angela, who are drinking crazy amounts of water every day still are constipated because the water doesn't get into the cell and the inflammation uses up all this water. Second reason, medication damage. One of the biggest ones, liver overburden, liver doesn't work well, digestive enzymes are not getting produced, indigestion, da 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 da. And last one I'm going to mention here is low stomach acid. Also low stomach acid leads to indigestion and food putrefying in your gut which then leads to inflammation. So it, you see, this is all connected. And none of those things are addressed by laxatives. Now, gut feel, I want to give you a better alternative. I don't want to just leave you hanging here. Here comes the better alternative that addresses the inflammation part because it lowers inflammation in your digestive system. So if you have bloating as well and gut pain for months and for years, this herb, this natural herb will help you. Second thing it addresses, it supports your liver. It helps to declog your liver if you've got a fatty liver. It's also a strong antiviral and antibacterial. And the third benefit of this alternative to laxatives is you get your electrolytes back. So you actually help your gut motility to restore itself naturally, especially if you've been using using laxatives in your past, even if it's been just a week or a month. Laxatives are never used to be longer than three days. After that, the dependency starts. I'm talking about ginger, this guy here. 
see this ginger root the absolute best way if you want to get your bowels moving naturally again and really healing the underlying cause of constipation is to do ginger chewing yeah it's hardcore but it works so ginger tea is fine too but a lot of the goodies that are in the ginger are getting destroyed by hot water you want to consume at least three times per day about half a thumb size of ginger best jude quickly raw you can peel it first drink a little of water mm, and swallow the jute up mass so it's important you chew it first don't just swallow this big thing here okay apart from that there is a lot you can and you need to do if you want to heal chronic constipation and it all starts with food that's why i recommend you to watch this video right now about the three foods only that you need to eat if you want to reset your gut and you want to take the constipation relief challenge that i put together for you so you know exactly where to start to get off those laxatives heal your chronic constipation naturally so watch this video with the constipation relief challenge right now have a good day bye